Hello everyone. In the previous session, we had seen abstract classes and abstract methods. We are actually going through types of classes in C Sharp. We already gone through abstract classes as well as static classes. In this session, we will understand sealed classes. So, what do you mean by sealed classes? Is basically those classes of uh, those kind of classes where we want to restrict inheritance. When once a class uh, defined as sealed, you cannot use that class as a parent or a base class. So what Microsoft says, as you can see, a sealed class cannot be used as a base class. Why do we do that? Is to prevent a derivation. What do you mean by derivation? Is basically inheritance. So you can see class and it is sealed, sealed class. Okay, let's get started with the you know project. The program says I have a class, I have a class sample. Okay, this is my parent class. Inside that I have a method add integer x and y. So I'm I'm implementing it x plus y. I also have a, another class that is class program. We already know already know that how do we use inheritance is basically use a colon operator and then call your parent. This is how you can access you know the inheritance. So now this this class is my child class uses inheritance uh, from sample okay that's my parent class inside this uh, okay without inheritance I mean without inheritance you can actually you know if you just uh, if you just somehow let me delete this Without inheritance, you actually call, you know, this add method. If you directly type the sample s equals to new sample, you can actually call your add method. See, s dot add. You can directly call. You can print those values too. No problem. Okay, no problem. Build can be successful. Easy. Is because uh, you can call your parent class wherever you want, wherever you want to, until and unless this class access modifier is, uh, you know, internal. So right now it is not, it is default, it is default, it is internal. So I can access this add method with the help of parent instance. You can see I'm using parent instance, sample s, it is parent instance. But now the requirement is I want to access this add method with my child instance. So let me take the inheritance here. It is inheritance. So this is parent, this is child. I want to create the instance of my child class. So program p equals to new program. Can I access the add method of my parent? Definitely you can access p dot add. See, no problem. Same. Okay. Okay. So there is no problem to access when you do the inheritance. But now I want to restrict this inheritance. How can I how can I restrict with the help of sealed class? So let me declare my parent class as sealed. Sealed. Once you do that, <laughs> compile will Compile is already showing you the error. See, if I build my, you know, this project, you will see what is the error. Error is cannot derive from sealed type object type dot sample. So the thing is, you cannot you cannot actually call this parent class in the main method uh, because that class is the sealed. So I hope you understand it that once a class is defined as sealed class it is it is not going to uh, make you inheritance okay inheritance okay that's your sealed class in a very similar way let me take an example of you know sealed method how sealed method works okay so let me just delete all those entries that we had seen let me take an example here see what i want to do is sealed method okay that we want to do so what, I, what, I, what will be the example is something like this. So I have a class first. Let me take a class first. Inside that, I hope you know virtual keyword and override keyword. Why do we use virtual keyword? Is basically we had seen in method overriding in an abstract class as well as an abstract method. What is virtual keyword? If a child wants to change a method of parent, what is what is abstract? What is uh, let me take it as abstract method abstract method if a child if a child wants to uh, change 
or update if a child wants to change or update uh, a parent method then parent will give the permission with the help of virtual keyword and hence child can use override keyword override keyword to change the parent method in child class okay that we had seen it right so this parent this class first is going to be your parent class okay in this parent class i have the method let's say public public void let me say have i have a test method here okay so this method wants to wants to change by the child so parent will give the permission with the help of virtual keyword okay that's the intention that we had seen over here so parent is giving you the giving you the permission to change the test method with the help of virtual keyword now let me take another class class second which is inheriting from where first this is child class and now test can be changed with the help of override keyword let me take public override void test here here i can change this method here i can change now let me take another class class is going to be third it's coming from second okay inside this method class third i again want to change the again want to change the test method public override so i'll use override void test the permission is already given right so i can change this test method with the help of this override keyword in my child classes so i'm using child child okay it's coming from the parent okay so this is going to be my child class and this is the nested child class you can say child class okay now if i want to change this test method i can change easily no problem this is not going to be problem but if i make this method as my sealed as my sealed method okay let me take just 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 remove this uh, excess modifiers if i make this method as my sealed method and if you want to try this you know if you want to try to update this test method in your child class now this is going to give you an error okay this is going to give you an error because my method is sealed now i cannot use i cannot use override keyword to change the test or this method specifically declared in the parent i cannot do this okay so that's the thing that we're gonna see in my vision studio okay so let me create those classes i have a class uh first class was class first inside that i will take uh, let me take protected protected okay let me take uh, protected then uh, void and let me say this is my test method inside that i will write console dot right line and let me let me say this is test method okay so this is my test method and now parent want to give the permission with the help of what virtual keyword so i am giving you the virtual keyword permission now i'll copy this and i will add one more you know method just to make a difference test and test one so this is going to be test one method okay easy now let me take another class that we had seen here class second okay so class first is done same class second inheriting from first and then i'm going to make my override keyword here protected override and intellisense is already showing you which method you want to override so as we had given the keyword virtual virtual i can access test and test one test and i will say change test method to uh, something called as let me write this so instead of test method i want to write now uh, uh, updated 
updated test method I'll, I'll write that okay instead of test method I want to make this updated test method in the similar way I will use my test one method for test one method I say updated test one method okay now I will I will take another class I already have that class here class program I will change the name third which is inheriting from where second same case we have seen right check this now I will I will basically access this I will basically access this test method in my child class I again want to override this I don't want to write this updated test method instead of that I want to write something like this so let me let me just paste it and let me instead of updated test method I want to write um, new update method new update test method from third class okay so I want to print this instead of updated test method that's why I had used our right keyword now now to get this in the main method I can call third the instance of my third class third t equals to new third and then I'll say t dot you can see I can access test and test one no problem t dot test one and if I build it you know you can see build is succeeded no problem I can access both these method I eventually can run this too Oh, it's taking time. Yeah. Oh, where is this console dot read line? Read line. It's basically console dot read line. Let me do this now. You can see what is printed. So I called t dot test one and the updated one. Which one updated test right? And we had updated in in my third class. So you can see it is printed now new updated test method from third class and updated test one from here in the second class so I can call easily even if you want to update this test one method you can just you know use override keyword and can update this test one method too that's easy but now let's see the difference of the you know uh, sealed and without sealed so now in the second class in the class second this test method is updated test method if I use sealed keyword here see sealed keyword here sealed protected override void test now if i want to change this test method in my third class okay it is not going to work see if i build my solution you will see an error what is the error see cannot override inherited member object type dot second dot test you see test because it is sealed not test one test one is not sealed as you can see from here test one is not sealed test is sealed and that's why i cannot use this as an inheritance in my third class you can see i cannot access i cannot modify the test here from the second in the third as i'm using inheritance i cannot i cannot use this right this is not possible if you're having this sealed keyword in your method where you are inheriting this is not possible and that's the sealed method so what we had seen the thing is we have a class first inside that we have two methods which two method test and test one these two methods were there okay and we had given the permission with the help of virtual and also with the virtual and here we are overriding those you know uh, methods test one with the help of override keyword right we had seen this in the third part we also again again wants to you know uh, override this method this test but with the normal with the normal case I can I can I can there is no problem I can access this right but instead of that if we have a sealed keyword I cannot modify this test in my third class this is going to give you an specific error as this method is sealed you cannot you cannot access this here you cannot modify it okay so that we had seen i hope you understand sealed class and sealed method thank you so much